All right, so today I am making shepherd's pie, a.k.a. cottage pie. All right, I'm going to start by breaking up my ground beef so I can brown it and drain it. I'm going to season it with um, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper while it cooks. It's just my standard seasoning anytime I make ground beef. All right. So, just to taste, um, if I had to measure, I would say probably about a teaspoon is what I use. I like that for things to be extra seasoned. And it's just whatever your taste is. All right, so I got that seasoned. I'm going to brown that up and drain it while I gather up the rest of my ingredients. And I will be right back. All right, so I've got this pretty well drained and browned and now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients that goes in the ground beef. Um, I'm adding a 12 ounce bag of uh, mixed peas and carrots that's frozen. I'm going to add one can of chicken broth which is 14 and a half ounces. I would normally add beef broth, but I'm out of beef broth, so chicken broth it is. And then I'm going to add some minced garlic, uh, again, just to your taste, because it, it's your, your food, you season how you like it. Um, I'm going to put... about three good teaspoons of mixed garlic or minced garlic sorry and then I'm gonna put some um, about two teaspoons of parsley a teaspoon of rosemary and a teaspoon of thyme and I just measured them all out in one little cup there while I was uh, browning that. And I'm going to add a little bit more onion powder to this mixture. Again, just to your taste. A little more garlic powder to it. And a little bit more pepper. You can add salt if you like. I just typically don't cook with a lot of salt because I like the seasonings the way they are usually. I'm not a big fan of salt. Um, but that's just me. And I'm going to get this heated through. And I'll be right back. Also add Worcestershire sauce. I'm not good at pronouncing that. I'm gonna just add one to two teaspoons, maybe a little bit more. Basically, I just eyeball stuff and what looks good at the time. All right, that's probably more than one or two, one or two teaspoons, but that's all right. I like it. All right, 
a good rule of thumb is when you're trying to make a video hit record anyway I've got my beef layer layered on the bottom I'm adding some pulpy jack cheese to it um, on top of the meat mixture uh, rule in this house again is we don't skimp on cheese we put what looks good whatever your heart desires you can use whatever kind of cheese you like And I do like a thick layer of it in there. Okay. Next, I'm going to put in, uh, put on a layer of mashed potatoes. You can use pre-made, you can use instant, you can use your um, homemade. However you like, I'm doing pre-made this time because it was just quicker and faster. And that's what I was want, looking for, something fast and easy. And you're just going to layer these on top. And if you get a little cheese mixed in, that's, that's all right. I do have a video for cream cheese mashed potatoes um, that I've made before that would be great with this but again I was just looking for something quick with minimal effort tonight so I'm going to just get these spread out and this is a 32 ounce container of mashed potatoes by the way you can use more if you want, but I'm going to make the 32 ounces work. And this is the Bob Evans brand of uh, pre-made potatoes, by the way. And again, like I said, if the cheese mix is in, makes it even better. All right, so that's pretty well covered. And then, if you like, you can garnish it with a little paprika on top, which I think adds, just looks good and just gives it that little extra, I think. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about half an hour and I'll be back. All right, this is the finished product. It smells so good, y'all. I'm gonna get some of this out and give it a taste. Um, interesting difference. Uh, shepherd's pie is also known as cottage pie. The difference being uh, shepherd's pie usually uses ground lamb and cottage pie ground beef. But where I grew up in the southern United States, generally I've uh, known it as shepherd's pie. Um, but in researching, I've been learning that in other areas it's called cottage pie with ground beef. But anyway, let's give this a taste. All right, this looks so good and it smells so good. Um, let's give it a taste. It is super hot. I don't know if you can see on the camera where it's steaming. It did just come out of the oven.
Oh, wow. Well, this is so good. I definitely recommend trying it and definitely interested in hearing y'all's uh, recipes on shepherd's pie, aka cottage pie. Um, definitely willing to give them a try. Um, so I hope you like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new uh, recipes, new videos. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.